So towards the end of last night's video, I made it very clear to you guys that I was very interested in buying call options. The game plan was to be buying call options towards the morning dips. In terms of the overall levels, it was at the gaps. We had a gap that was waiting to fill below at 518.66. We also had a gap that was waiting to fill below at 517.33. In terms of the game plan, it was to buy call options. In terms of the levels, it was specifically towards those gaps. As you can see right here, we ended up reversing at both of the gaps. And we had a green, red, green pattern here in the pre-market, turning this previous resistance into support. And then you had many green bullish 30 minute confirmations. In terms of the overall game plan in Team Roar, it was absolutely in spot on. Every single long level in the game plan ended up working. I'm gonna be breaking down the trades for you and I'm gonna be giving you our new key levels of interest heading into the market open tomorrow. Let's get straight into the analysis. So in terms of the overall trading day, GROAR ended up going four for four on the day. I ended up having a loss on the puts. In terms of the puts, they did end up going up 30%. If I had set a profit stop, I would have been stopped out for the green. With that being said, as a whole, today was a great day. And in terms of the overall trades, I'm gonna be breaking down the overall chart for you. So in terms of bullish opportunities, the SPY was reversing at the gap in the pre-market. We made it very, very clear if you watch last night's video to be buying those call options. Now, in terms of the overall gaps, like I said, we had the gap that was waiting to fill below right here at 517.40. We also had the gap that was waiting to fill at 518.66. That was the gap close reversal zone. Now, with that being said, when we look at this overall chart, there was many confirmations to be buying call options. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get in towards the level we wanted to, but there was a green bullish 30 minute confirmation and it was turning this previous resistance into support. If you go back throughout the chart, I also made it very, very clear if you are seeing a bullish 30 minute confirmation at 522, which was another level of interest where we wanted to buy call options, but I didn't buy call options at that level yesterday because it was red bearish 30 minute confirmations, red bearish 30 minute confirmations. But take a look at how well the 30 minute trading strategy works. Right here, this is a red bearish 30 minute confirmation. Once it closes the gap, had an overreaction to the downside, begins to sell off. Now look what happens when the inverse happens. You have previous resistance, previous resistance, previous resistance, right? And if you looked at the pre-market, you had a green, red, green, bullish pattern, strong bullish 30 minute uptrend. And if you just take a look, this is the exact opposite reaction as yesterday, which is a great confirmation to buy calls, along with the other reasons why I explained to you in last night's video, why we were interested in buying the overall dip in the market. But um, in terms of the confirmation, man, if we get a green bullish 30 minute confirmation right here at the at this um, 522 level, it's going to continue to uptrend and it's gonna start to spike back towards this previous support, which was not tested towards this 528.50. So that's kind of how to read and break down the overall chart. And um, you can also see in terms of the strategy, we had a very strong green, red, green pattern turning previous resistance into support, which is bullish. Once we noticed that this 30 minute candle was beginning to close strong bullish and green, we did end up taking calls on that particular situation for a strong move to 531. Now, in terms of the overall trades, man, I'm going to walk you through the overall trades here real quick. So in terms of Team Roar, you do get access to a real-time options trading alert system. This is not just buy and sell alerts. This is a system that can make you money and improve your trading. So I'm going to walk you through some of the basics to the options trading alert system. In terms of how we kind of start out, you want to start positions light. You wanna start positions light so it doesn't affect your account in a big way if the contracts end up going worthless. These are the cheapest zero date, far out of money option contracts. We're known for selling them deep in the money for the biggest percentage gains within the market. And then in terms of what we like to do with the system, we prefer to add to winners. So, you know, if we're buying contracts at 30 cents, 40 cents, 50 cents, and they're beginning to go up, you know, eight cents, 10 cents, we prefer to add to winners and let wins run, playing for the big win to sell deep in the money and then scaling out towards key levels as well, selling into the move. Now, in order to never go green to red on a trade, you need to set stop losses. You need to set profit stops. In order to never go green to red on a trade, 
you set profit stops. You can set profit stops after you're up 10 to 20 cents, right? So this is just some of the basics in terms of a basic um, breakdown, right? And um, in terms of the overall trades that we ended up having today, man, I'm gonna walk you through it. So 180 Tesla puts for 36 cents a contract. In terms of these puts, these puts ended up going to, um, you know, 50 plus cents a contract at the speed of fucking light. So that was a phenomenal one right there. And then in terms of the second trade, SPY 532 calls for 51 cents a contract. These ended up going to 70 cents very, very quickly. This is the one that I specifically took. Um, 531 SPY calls for 69 cents a contract. This was a phenomenal trading opportunity because it had that green, red, green, bullish pattern. The SPY was reversing at the gap. The SPY was turning all of the gap close reversal levels into support. There was a gap that was waiting to fill towards 5.17.30. It reacted as support in the pre-market. It began to reverse. There was a gap that was waiting to fill below at 518.66. It reacted as you know pre-market support, and it formed the same exact pattern. You're gonna see right here, the green, red, green pattern and the bottom of the pattern on a bullish uptrend is above the previous resistance, the previous resistance where it was previously selling off towards that gap level, had a breakout, reacted as support, reacted as support, reacted as support, green, red, green, begins to break out. And then you guys were well aware, 522 was one of our levels where we wanted to buy call options. Well, if you're seeing a green bullish 30 minute confirmation at that 522 level, instead of having that massive you know, that massive um, bull trap like it had yesterday um, and it's sold off hard, it's going to have a massive bear trap and it's going to continue to spike. So with that being said, man, when we're holding for a very long time, you have all this bottom wick support, bottom wick support. Once you see a green, red, green pattern, you can start to buy call options into the close of this 30 minute candlestick, ride it back up, towards the next resistance level, which was towards 531. That's why um, in the chat, in terms of analysis that I was given, I made it um, very, very clear as this was beginning to close green. You know, this is a green, red, green bullish pattern. It's likely about to spike to 531 because that's the next resistance level and these wicks have to be tested at some overall point. So that was a phenomenal trade that I did end up taking um, on calls. That was a great call out. And um, yeah, man, GWAR ended up going four for four. Um, in terms of my personal trade, I had a loss on puts. But like I said, man, if I set a profit stop, I would have been stopped out for probably like a 10, 15% profit return win. But um, in terms of the overall key levels that I wanted to go over heading tomorrow, it's going to be the following. So in terms of the overall market right now, we are at a key critical make or break resistance. Now, um, what we need to understand is the SPY has been reversing at these gaps very, very consistently, especially when it's oversold. It's great dip buying opportunities within the overall bullish market. It's been trying to explode up to fill these gaps that are all waiting to fill above. So in terms of how I'm breaking down the chart a day before the market opens, this is um, what I'm currently looking at. So um, we have a gap that is waiting to fill above at 533. Now, I don't want you to think of this as your best resistance level possible heading into tomorrow. In terms of tomorrow, based off of the daily chart pattern that I'm seeing, I might potentially be interested in doing put options at a very overbought resistance level. So in terms of my overbought resistance levels, I'm keeping an eye on this 536. This is a make or break gap breakout level. If it breaks out, reacts to support, that's when it's gonna to start to explode up and hit the next support level right here at 540. And then it's gonna to try to drop first at 540. And then once it breaks out, reacts to support, it's gonna fill the gap at 540.280, which is a great level to play puts. So in terms of put options tomorrow, my main interest is gonna to be towards this um, mid 536 level and also 539.80. Pay attention to those levels, man, because in terms of that same pattern, it wasn't too long ago where the same exact pattern was um, repeating very nicely. You could see right here, the SPY ended up having a gap down from 533. You could see the SPY ended up having a gap down right here. Look at the previous support. You can see right here, previous support is right here, previous support is right here. Once it tested this previous support towards 530, it ended up having a massive sell-off. So once it goes back to this previous support right here, see it gap down, and once it goes back to this previous support, it's gonna have a massive sell-off towards 539, 540, very, very likely. And then you got a gap that's waiting to fill at 543, right? So in terms of trend and pattern recognition, man, I would be extremely interested in um, buying put options towards that 539.60 level once it hits. And I'm also keeping an eye on 536. Now, 
In terms of 533, that's just going to be make or break. It's not the best gap. It's not the best level for puts. If we break out and react to support, we're going to see a very nice move to the upside where it's going to start to go towards that 536.50 level, right? So um, that's make or break resistance, but it's likely going to try to break out. Um, this right here is make or break support, 530.65. 530.65 is your make or break support level. That is a potential level where you can look to dip by call options. Now, if we do go into that overall level, the next overall level where you're going to want to keep an eye on is 522 and 518.66. So technically, we still have gaps that are waiting to fill below. So in terms of um, gap close reversals, 517 right around here and uh, 518.60, those are still going to be dip buying zones. Um, in terms of tomorrow, your make or break support is going to be 530.65. If it cracks, reacts as a resistance, we're going to be dropping back down towards the 526 level. Under that, we go to 522. If we break out and react to support towards this 530.63, we're going to fill the gap. The gap is waiting to fill at 533, and then that's going to be a make or break resistance level. But if we're maintaining above this 531, we're going to see a strong bullish move to the upside where the SPY is likely going to run towards this 536 level. So that's just an overall chart breakdown. My main levels of focus heading into tomorrow are going to be 530.65 make or break support. Very interested and dip buying towards that zone. 531.50, if it's reacting as support, very interested in buying the breakout. 533, make or break, it's a gap level. If it reacts to support, very interested in buying the overall breakout. And then in terms of puts, like I said, man, for puts, I'm not too interested based off of everything I'm seeing right now to buy puts at 533. But if we do get red bearish confirmations, I will give it a shot on the 30 minute chart. But um, in terms of put options, what I would tell you is 536, 539.50 to 540 and um, 543. Those would be my true best levels for put options heading into tomorrow. So I gave you our strong levels of interest to be buying call options, and then I gave you the strong levels of interest to be buying put options. That's going to be exclusively um, for tomorrow, and we're going to be focused on over reactions, man. So I'm looking for um, dip buying opportunities. I'm looking for small breakout opportunities towards the lower levels. And then in terms of put options, I'm looking for the more overbought levels. I'm keeping an eye on 533, but um, it's likely too low, man. I really like the 536 and I love the 539.60 and then the 543 gap reversal. I'm telling you, man, once we get back up to this 539.80, we're likely going to have a very nice drop. Just look at the overall pattern, man. SPY has a gap down. SPY has a gap down. And then once it goes back to that previous support, you know, um, from where it got down, this is previous support right here. This is previous support right here. Once it trends, up, trends back up, reacts as a resistance red bearish 30 minute confirmation right so i'm telling you that 539.80 level 540 phenomenal level for puts 543 phenomenal level for puts if we can spike to 536 tomorrow i will be interested in puts so make sure that you're using the red bearish 30 minute confirmations, man. But in terms of Team Roar, man, today was a great day. We absolutely crushed it, man. I'm telling you, we've had some members um, killing it on the overall days, man. We recently had a member make $38,000 in a single day, man. And then um, in terms of another member, um, I think his name is uh, Human Made. He ended up making $56,000 since he joined the overall program. So for those of you who are serious in gaining access to a secured private organization where we are trading in real time, we're giving you all of our trades, we're literally telling you exactly where we get in. We give you the market price action analysis in between, which helps edu educate you in terms of um, you know what it is that we're doing. And we also tell you where to set the profit stops, right? So on, on some trades, we're just going to exit. And then on other trades, we're going to tell you exactly where we're setting the overall profit stops. And the contracts are so cheap and so low risk, you know, such a cheap barrier to entry that we just let them expire worthless. We do not use stop losses. The only stop that we use is profit stops. And um, one strategy that we have in terms of increasing the winnings massively is when we have a big winning play and we're getting confirmations early into the trade, we start to add and size up into winners, not into losers, not averaging our cost down, trapping ourselves into a bag, typically in 
to winners. And then we're setting profit stops along the way to protect the overall profits. And then you can also sell into the move towards key levels of interest. You know, if you're in calls, there's gonna be key levels of interest that makes sense to sell towards resistance. If you're in puts, there's gonna be key levels of interest to um, that makes sense to sell into the dips, right? So um, what I'm telling you is, man, we have a real-time options trade alert system that's gonna be guiding you, it's gonna be educating you, and we're gonna be walking you through the overall trades, exactly where to set your profit stop. We're gonna be giving you real-time market analysis in between the entry. So um, for those of you who are interested in trading with us, this is the best time you can possibly join. The market is extremely volatile, and it's the best time to be trading zero date option contracts, man. If you're going further out of the money, selling deep in the money, this is the best time possible to be doing it, man. When the market is this volatile, it's going to be rewarding the traders who are holding for longer periods of time, man. For those of you who are just buying in the money options, you're just getting in, you're getting out, you're scalping quickly. This is the worst time to be doing that, man. The market is gonna be rewarding people who are holding their trades for a long period of time. Anyone who has that strategy with options where they hold their trades for a long period of time, they will go further out of the money to risk less, risk less of their money to make bigger percentage gains. And you can increase your winnings by quickly adding into the trade to your winners. And then you can protect your wins and not go green to red by getting stopped out for a profit, man. So, um, you know, even on those puts today, if I had set that profit stop, I, I likely would have been stopped out for a 10 to 15% um, profit return, right? So um, if you're setting profit stops, right? And um, this is what all the institutions are using. They're all using profit stops. If you set them, you're going to be stopped out for profits, right? You're not gonna go green to red you know, in some situations, your wins are going to be a lot smaller. In some situations, um, you know, you're going to be um, missing out on some massive gains, but you're protecting yourself from going green to red. And then adding to winners can increase the gains on smaller wins as well. So for those of you who are serious and getting access to our secured private organization, it is going to be the first link down below within the description. You guys are well aware that in terms of Fridays, these tend to be my overall best trading days. In terms of last Friday during the power hour trading session, I ended up going five for five within 25 minutes trading. It was absolutely insane. I'm telling you, man, we're going to absolutely crush it. We're going to absolutely crush it um, tomorrow, man. So that's the overall chart breakdown. Tomorrow should be an absolute phenomenal day. Um, in terms of the daily chart pattern, again, this is just a possibility, just something I'm looking at, man. But um, I'm telling you, man, you need to keep an eye on dip buying call options. I am telling you, man, keep an eye on dip buying call options heading into tomorrow towards the previous closing price, 536.65. If you see 531.50 react to support, that's another level to be buying call options. If you see 533 reacting as support, I'm gonna say that's your upper level. You do not wanna be going above um, 533 overall, man. But I'm telling you, heading into tomorrow, based off of what I'm seeing on the daily chart, 536.65 and 531, I'm going to be eyeing call options if we're getting green bullish 30 minute confirmations, man. 533 is gonna be a higher level. And like I said, heading into tomorrow for put options, I'm interested in some puts, but it's gotta be towards 536.50 to 540 to 543, it's gotta be the upper levels. Anything under that for tomorrow, I will likely consider buying call options. So um, I will also be keeping an eye on towards this uh, 526.70 overall support zone, right? So for those of you who are serious about making money, you wanna come print with us at the speed of fucking light, it's gonna be the first link down below within the description. We will see you tomorrow.